Christine Billings. I'm a physician assistant student here at Clarkson in the first year. Um, we're currently in Clarkson Hall in downtown campus of Potsdam, New York. And this is the current room we're in is the physical diagnosis lab. And this is where we do some of our physical examination on each other. We practice things we learn like chest exam, heart exams, for instance. The nice thing about this room is we really get to do a teamwork effort. It's more of a practicing hands-on as opposed to just sitting in the classroom being lectured. So it's a really nice way to put what you're learning to good use. It's really nice. It's, it can be open as it is right now, or there's many curtains that you can close. So each bed is kind of its own private thing. So when you're doing the test, it's more real life scenario. Another part of the physical diagnosis room is our simulation man over here. He virtually can do anything. He has any signs and symptoms. He's a great way to practice doing vitals on, any kind of tests on. So as students, it puts us in a hands-on scenario for the real world where we actually have to work to save his life. He is controlled by the professors, by a computer, and they can make him change at any moment. So at any given time, his stats can drop and we have to do something. You can actually inject medications. He blinks. He breathes. His, he has heart sounds, lung sounds. He sweats. He can cry. He can talk. I mean, it's horrible. We can kill him. And it's OK. You can bring him back to life. You can start over, figure out what you did wrong, learn how to treat him so he doesn't die. How do we hold the mask? So this is our anatomy classroom and lab. It's just another area of Clarkson Hall where we have our separate class, often have it with the physical therapy students. Um, we have a classroom where we have the actual lecture. And then connected is the lab with the cadavers where we can actually practice dissection, use the bodies as learning utilities. This is the classroom that you spend most of the first year in. You're here majority of the time. It's where all the lectures are held and the professors actually teach all of the material. The nice thing about it is very, it's a smaller room. There's 17 people in the class. A nice feature in these classrooms, there's a few spread out among the campus. There's smart boards and they're useful just as a learning tool. The professors can use them. It's all touch screen, so the students can write on it, professors can write on it. You can throw pictures and slides up. It's just a really good, another hands-on tool. They really do a good job of getting you ready to hit that real world. And this part of Clarkson Hall is our gym area of our building. This is an area where we can practice clinical skills on each other. And throughout the program, we have patients come in. Recently, we just had patients with neurological disorders come in, and we were treating them in this area, mostly um, utilizing the equipment in here for analyzing and treating the patients. You can practice it as much as you want on each other, but we don't actually have those deficits. So when we see someone with those deficits, it really helps us understand better and get a better feeling of what they're going through and how we can better help them. This is called a balance master, so we hook up our patients in there, they're in a harness, and it can really help determine what areas of balance are at most limited. So like in general there's three systems that contribute to your balance and this machine can help really solidify which system is at fault and how much that system is in a deficit or if there's more than one. Um, there's also standing right here is a treadmill which you can put your patient in a harness so if they have problems walking you put them in the harness you can take off some of their body weight so it can actually support it so that it's easier for them to get the right mechanics and for us to facilitate those right mechanics too will actually move the person's leg for them as they're walking on this treadmill so it really helps them get the right motions before you lower down the body weight support and have them walking on their own there's a lot of great equipment here that a lot of other clinics out there don't have, but we're fortunate enough to be able to learn on them here, so it's a great experience. This is our clinical lab. We come in here usually, you know, anywhere from three to five times a week for about two hours, and this is where we actually practice our skills on each other. So our professor will be in here, and you know, he or she will kind of show us what to do or tell us what to do or even sometimes we'll have to know what to do beforehand. So he might say, you know, next time we're doing all interventions for people with strokes. So we have to go look up different interventions, then come in, and we actually practice them on each other. This is our library. We have a lot of the journals on print in this room, um, which are very helpful, but we also have a lot of access online as well because most of us students uh, live by our computers. So a lot of these journals, they 
just publish the recent research that different people have done, different therapists, they don't even have to be therapists, professors, whatever they may be, um, that looks into the newest and latest things in physical therapy. I really think it gives us not only the skills we need, but the lasting knowledge that we need to be the best physical therapist we can. And I know that when I went out on my clinical affiliation um, for the two months I was out there, the therapist I was working with told me I was super prepared and that he was like, you're one of the best students that we've had um, just because of the way that this program prepared us to go out into the clinic and I know most of my classmates had similar responses from the therapist they were working with as well.